Hello there, welcome back to some more. Then I decided to Skyward Sword HD in the last episode. We did some thrill digging. You may notice my like, rupee total is 600. That's because I couldn't help myself. I went and did some thrill digging. Managed to get a good run. I got a few silvers. Obviously it cost me, it took me a few tries. I got a few silvers, some red, red, some blues, and I managed to get up to 600. So it wasn't so bad. So the thought why these enemies are dead still, because I ran back and did it. And I haven't closed the game since, so. Anywho, we've got to go over to the top section. And I was thinking that the next time I find a uh, teleporter, I might want to actually leave and get my upgrade, because otherwise I, every money I get will be useless, so I don't want to do that. So we'll fix that as soon as possible. Give me that heart piece, baby. I imagine they won't be one too far away. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. Give me some of those. Okay, so let's have a look at where we are on the map. All right. We've got an upward ascent bit. I can also look over the bottom and see there's a bunch of lava that I don't want to touch, so. Really? Should have put my beetle back on just in case I fall in fire or something and the net burns. I don't know if that's how it works, but I don't want to risk it. Okay. No, thank you. You're dead. You're dead, you just don't know it yet. I need it. Go to it. You. you know how rare skulls are? They're quite rare. The golden skulls, even more so, in theory, should be, but often aren't. So we've got the big sand path. We can go into there, and there's also a little alcove over there that I can bomb if I get some bombs. Luckily, the, the uh, rocks don't hone in, so it's fine. They're not homing. Bye! You fools! I need to keep going. I didn't keep going. Hey! Rude. Get pushed. Yeah. Okay, here's a, here's one. Hmm, I'm sure they buried it around here someplace, but I can't find it. Yo, lad, this is the place, ain't it? So this is what they buried. What is it they buried again? A key. K E Y. Key. They busted up the key to that door and hid the pieces all over the place. I'm telling you, one of the five pieces is buried right around here. Hey, that reminds me, that strange blonde girl in the weird clothes got taken away too. <laughs> That's right, I bet they got something really valuable stashed in there. And that blonde girl they took is probably part of their master plan too. I'm telling you, I can smell the riches from here. <laughs> so what are you saying we do once we find all the pieces to the key? <laughs> what do you think, in Igneous? Igneous? You mean Ignoramus? We sneak inside and take all the treasure we can carry. <sighs> hey, why are we so worried about our key when we just dig our way in? What? Um... Just saying. You ain't as dumb as you look. Master Joey, I require your confirmation on critical information obtained for that Mogma conversation. The oddly garbed figure that taken deep into the region must be... Zelda. My calculations agree, Master. There is a 9% probability the figure in question was indeed Zelda. Additionally, I calculate there is a 95% probability the key to this door is made of the same material composition as this mechanism that bars it. I have detected objects of the same material in the surrounding area. Ascertaining the location of these objects are laid in our search for Zelda. I registered them as dowsing targets. I need not douse. I know of the paths. Do not recite the text to me, wench. I was there when they were written. 
You've got the first piece of the key. Find all five pieces to complete the key that opens the door leading to the temple. Find the other four pieces. Hey. Hey, Dee Dee. All right. I shouldn't really be digging these. Again, I need to stop. Because if it's just money, I don't need money. I need hearts, though. Yummy. Yummy, yummy hearts. Okay. So, bomb. I don't think I can get the bomb to the other side of this cliff. Oh, but I might be able to get that one, though. I didn't see these bombs. Stupid! Oh, yeah. Now, I'm imagining this won't be money. This will be a key piece or a heart piece. Dig, dig, dig. You got the second piece of the key. Collect all five pieces to collect the key that opens the top of the door. Now you have to find the other three pieces. Okay. Let me leave while I'm here. I'm just going to get the um, other shite I need. Okay. Alright, lads. Take me to the sky. Yes. I require it. <laughs> now, hopefully, when I get back, I can come back here. Alright, yeah. mate. I wish to fly to the skies. I also need to look for a missing child, which I kind of neglected. She may already be dead. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's not fine, but... Bonk. Bingy bingy. I had to put it here, didn't I? There we go. Let me in. Cool. Wonderful. Ooh. That right there is a bug medal, as long as you're carrying that. Oh. Oh, that right there is a bug medal. As long as you're carrying that, you'll be able to see on your map where bugs can be found. Quite expensive, but if you like catching bugs, it's indispensable. I'll sell it for a thousand rupees. No, thank you. Oh, oh please take a look at the other things I have for sale. Oh, oh that's an extra wallet. It's amazing and useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. Say goodbye to all those times you couldn't pick up another ruby because your wallet was still full. Leave no ruby behind. Even you must be able to see just how useful this is. Not for only 100 rupees. Want to buy it? Okay. Got the extra wallet. You have the wallet now to hold an additional 300 rupees. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you for so much. You give me the strength to keep pedaling. So that's uh, 900 I can carry now. Oh. That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one. It has to be the most useful thing imaginable for furniture, and yet it costs me 300 rupees. I'll take it. You made an adventure pouch bigger. You can fit an additional item inside. Nice. Thank Oh, thank you ever so much. You can be the strength to keep pedaling. Oh, I can also go get the seed upgrade. The bug medal is pretty useful, actually. All the medals are pretty good. Can't remember how many you can equip. Maybe just one. Yeah, it looks like the medal goes there and it might just be able to have one. Or maybe I can put them in my pouch and as long as I have them, it works. But yeah, I need to go ask around about this kid. Alright, lads. That's a small seed satchel. With it, you can carry an additional 10 seeds. I recommend something to this because 100 rupees. Do we have a deal, friend? Okay. You got a small seed satchel. With this, you can carry 10 extra deco seeds. Keep it with you when you use this slingshot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The customer's always right. We're taking the liberty of placing a purchase in your pouch. Press R to open it and equip what you need. 
That's a small seed satchel with an instant pouch to carry ten additional seeds. Where can we have a slingshot with these discus 100 rupees? Do we have a deal, friend? Sure. You got a small seed satchel with this. You can carry ten additional seeds because he's keeping with you when you use your slingshot. <laughs> the customer's always right. I take the liberty to place you purchase a pouch, so I only need it to equip what you need. So, now, I can't actually look, but I've got 20 additional seeds. I'm going to put one of them away, because I might not always need this many. Hello, I'm on to the oven check. Want to put stuff in your pouch in storage? Okay. I'm going to take some out of storage, that's fine. So is there anything in pouch in storage you want to move? Yes. Alright, let's see it. Beatrice. But I mean, I'm not using anything else right now. I think it's fine. Okay, thank you. Come again. Just clean myself out. I've got some uh, liquid here too I want to drink. It's one of those uh, dink through the day bottles. I'm notoriously bad for not drinking through the day. Um, my excuse is that I'm working, but also I, I drink more water than I used to drink. Not that that's much of a uh, competition, but you know. Is there, so there's people here, then these are bird statues. I think it only shows you where bugs can be found if you've already got them as well. You fucker. I will, I will catch you. Thank you. Um, I need to get the bug off of this tree. It's not there right now. Can't believe I killed the bug. I'm a monster. What have I done? Okay. I don't know anything about a missing child. Alright. Hi, Joey. What? You went to Peter's air shop without me? That's so unfair. Cookie L. Well, I did see her playing over by the graveyard yesterday. My mum called me home, so I left. I don't know what she did after that. Why? Did something happen? No. But. That's not for you to find out. It's for me to worry about, not you. So I don't remember seeing any dirt patches in Skyloft. Although there may well be, and I just don't remember them. I hope to find some. Boo boo aha! My boy! Come here. You put one Sky Stag Beetle. These bugs are really popular with the children of Skyloft. Their pincers pack a lot of crunch, so watch your fingers. Nice. I do like how the. Ex the uh, Amped up part of the song stops when you get to here. The trumpet stop. It just becomes like a nice guitar melody. Twenty-five smackers. Oh, he spawned. This is another kind of grasshopper, I think. Okay. When I can go underneath, I can go into there. So go to the graveyard. I don't know where the graveyard is from the uh, gallivanting I did yesterday. Well, the day before yesterday. Yesterday for me. It's hard. Time is weird. Surely this is... No? Okay, I would have thought I could climb out of that. Okay. Alright. Did you hear a child who'd been playing in the graveyard went missing? Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in a little town? I do. Huh? What? So there's a chance she was dragged off by a monster? Let's not be ridiculous here. This monster business is going a bit far. Oh. Now that you mention it, there's an old man who lives near here. He's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony though, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I'd imagine he's at the Lumpy Pumpkin to the east of here as usual. You need to fly your bird there, of course. 
well, as soon as you said old man talking about monsters, I, I knew the uh, situation, but... I've been sidetracked, but I, I did say I'd help find this girl, so... It'd be rude of me not to now. Honestly. Friend. <laughs> Alright, mate. You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster, it's a demon, I tell you, but no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Huh? You want to know how I come? I'm telling the tale if nobody's seen it it's left alive, is that it? Yep. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree. And the gravestone hit up, lit up. It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the tree had opened up all by itself. The monster then went into the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself, which is unexpectedly polite for a demon. It's the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. It hit the one nearest the tree, and then pushed it. Okay. What I don't remember is how to make it night. I guess I can sleep in my own bed, maybe? But I do forget. Fuck your pot. Add it to my tab. Beesh. Yes, I am ignoring the chests on purpose. I want to collect all of them and see all the flashy lights before I go and do it. Because I am a freak. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's go make it night time. Because you can't actually fly about at night. It doesn't let you. The game says, no, it's too scary to go out at night time, buddy. I also go up here, why not? I tried to, but the game disagreed. Thank you. Money. Right. Oh shit. I suppose I could have, uh, probably could have called my bird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your step there and they told you that Academy of the Knights must always be vigilant. Shop and all you make. Never make it to knighthood, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I know, but I... <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to get right up in their grill and capture it. You caught one Skyloft Mantis. These bugs catch prey with their sharp jaws. They're often seen up above the clouds. Nice. I forget what that actually does. That ba -do -ba -do -ba. There's a way through the water there, but I can't get in. I have no way to swim. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so I need to make, go in the middle of the night. Let's make it night time, then. So far, there hasn't been a massive flying section enough to make me want to cut it out, although I might have done in post from the time it took me to get from here to editing. Because I'm trying new things all the time. So this time, I'm trying to uh, do a bunch of recording before I edit any of them. And then just do them all in bulk. Like maybe the whole week's worth of recordings, rather than do two or three at a time, do seven. That's the plan. I don't know whether it will work or not, but... Also, I'm trying to record when I find time, so instead of doing it... 
instead of doing it uh, only on the days where I don't work. I, I have worked today, but I'm doing it for an hour or two uh, after work in the night. I won't do too many episodes. I'm thinking like two a day rather than uh, rather than any more than that. May have got nothing to tell me. Anyone in class? Oh, there is someone in class, but you don't have anything to tell me either. Boo -boo -boo -boo. Karane, Zelda, the bathhouse. I'm on the bottom floor, aren't I? Instructor Horwell, Instructor Owlin. Joey, hello. How long do you want to sleep? Until the night time. I wish I could go to sleep that easily. Many kids are asleep. Ah, finally some peace. So do you think you can find Zelda? Best of luck to you. Thank you. Those doors are locked. Are the top steps locked? That's the headmaster's office. It's locked. Oh, must I find alternate arrangements to leave? There we go. No, right, mate. What are you doing out and about, my night, mate? Hey, Joey, it's dangerous out at night, so be careful. This area is my patrol route. At night, monsters get really active around here. It's the duty of a night to protect the public from any danger. How admirable. Admirable nonsense, the bare minimum of what people expect from us. We are knights in training, this is what knights do. That's the Pippet way. All I need are the smiles of the people I protect is my payment. This is what it means to be a knight. I'm sure you'll understand how that feels one day too, Joey. Thank you. You don't even get a battle theme. It's just silence. Which I actually quite like. So the tree in the graveyard... I think there are some nighttime only bugs as well. Just wave it like a maniac. Back off. Right. Get some claws from these guys. Don't try me. Little shit cat. I'll murder you. Think I have any problems murdering cats? The answer's no. Take a slice across the face. Ish. Thank you. Graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. Over here somewhere. That's underneath. It's around this part of town, I can't remember exactly where. It's the pumpkin patch. That way. This way further. Here we go. Right, go to the tree. Hit the one nearest the tree. Then push it. It's got a demonic symbol on it. It must be good. Gets me underneath here. Find this walkway. 
Oh dear. I'm coming, buddy. Hey, what's wrong? Why do you look so scared? Did something happen to you? Huh? Huh? Stop, please! I beg of you, don't hurt me! Oh, goodness, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the scream as, you loud as, scream as loud as you can game. Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Batru, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I am certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this admirable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood curling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant, you see. My heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw and friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Oh right, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. <laughs> Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there is such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. <laughs> Truly, you'll help me. I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals for helping people solve their troubles. <laughs> they could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds. Anyway, you'll find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. Hi. He's not a bad man. He said me one time and I almost fell over the edge and let me come in and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell me when we'll come home in the morning. All right. And Link is okay with this. It's not my kid. Fuck it. I think that's very fair. Imagine being able to do this up a ladder. I could never. Jellied blob. Thank you. Yes, you, my little dragonfly. Not a dragonfly. What's it called? A light bug. But it has a special name Firefly. Firefly. Can't get too close to the water, friends. You're toying with me, aren't you? You caught one starry firefly. These insects among the rest in the skies can only be found in dark places. It's actually quite hard to get them. Because they hang out above the water. Makes them positively evil to get. I knew there was certain only night specific bugs. I knew it. No, no, whatever. I'm pretty sure if I try and fly, it won't let me.
that you can't whistle. You've got one gratitude crystal. This form of a person so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness. The crystallized gratitude is created. Collect these and show them to Batro. It's a special kind of thing. I don't know how many there are in the game, like a hundred or something maybe? It's a few. And I think they are just around at night time, that they just exist. You might be able to get them in the day, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Boy. Back you off. I'll just stay down there for a night. Right, right. He's using his ears to flap back up, look. Okay, so we've got to find Mother Dearest and tell her everything's going to be alright. I guess they closed the easily accessible door so that people can't just get in and cause havoc. Contrary to popular belief, that is not what I meant to do. Go there, trainer. You'll never be permitted to fall nighthood if you can't learn to keep your wits about you. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Any training nights is when supposed to be doing that. You take care now. Hey. I don't have a light on my bird, so I cannot get out at the night time. Any of the gratitude crystals around and about here. I'll have a look. You've got to have a little look, don't you? Just a cheeky little look. Not a big, not a big thing or anything. Just a little one. Back off. Right. Lovely. Lovely jabby. Path is like down here somewhere. Worth it. Couldn't remember how to get down. There's probably some uh, grass overhanging the side, but I thought I just wanted to get down and look over to see if I could see any crystals. Because if they're going to be anywhere, they'll be at night. But now, I don't know whether you have to speak to Batro to unlock them. Also, you can't explore any of the overworld maps, uh, of the surface maps at the night time. I don't think. At least that door's open now, that's good. Alright, let's go back to daytime. I've got things I need to do. I'll tell her that everything's all good and safe and fine. People just hear me panting at the top of my lungs, just fucking sprinting. <laughs> You've got one guy, Chris. So it's formed. Plus, I completely overwhelmed. Fiends, thank goodness. Chris, last guy, she's formed. Collect these stones for Batro. Fledge, calling in strict. Bruce has his own bedroom somewhere. Bruce. All right, mate. I'm beginning to wonder if Bruce is ever going to pull himself out of this nosedive. Sure, it's tough for him, but imagine how I feel having to listen to him moping all the time. Can't wait to get back to my room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, Zelda, where are you? Hey, Hotshot, don't think I don't see you flying in and out of town all the time. I know what you're up to. You're trying to make sure you find Zelda first, but it ain't gonna happen. Oh, this is the worst. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Yeah, but it's Goose. Fuck Goose. Alright. I'll go to bed. Whatever. Oh, I'm gonna sleep. Till the morning. Night, night. Man, when Goose gets sad, he's damn right visible. He's always in his room sulking when he does come out, he gets angry at everyone for no reason, even me. The way I hear it, either one responsible for Zelda going missing. This is your mess, so you better fix it. <sighs> well, you know, whatever. <laughs> Don't know why I came out of this one when I have to climb back up again, but at least I can run out here, so it's probably faster. Alright, mate. You nothing to say to me. Has she gone back home? Is that the thing? I was waiting for her to be up here, but it looks like they aren't. It looks like they've gone home, so I have to go find where her home is. I mean, I'll do it. There's a home over here. Is this the one? Let's have to search all the houses. I'll find it. I'll see you when I do. I think this is it. Hello. Oh, Joey. Kuki, I'll safely back at home and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. Hey. You're welcome. It actually says in front of the door whose house it is. If you stand in front of it and wait before going in. I'll show you. Um, Kuki Al's house, look, so that's how I knew it was the right one. And the other one said, item check girl, Beatrice's house, which I thought was interesting. Does the one that I went in first do it? Maybe that one hasn't got anyone living in it. Or is it on stop, give it time? Uh, yeah, it, it's a. Uh, is it off centered? Uriel and Pado's house. Alright, mate. Oh, I wonder where she's gone. Alright. Oh, I'm so worried. So worried. What's wrong? Ah, oh, Joe, you really want to hear about all my troubles. That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come back home yet. I was getting late for her to still be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I hope nothing's happened. I'm worried sick thinking about it. Hey, Joe, would you mind having me look for her? She said she was curious about that colourful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. I'm counting on you, Joey. Alright. I know exactly where that is. What did I just see? Well, if it isn't Jerry, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight and now I can't fly. Someone managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Jerry, I really need your help. Will you go get some bird medicine for me? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. You're a real lifesaver. My older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him and he'll give you what I need. I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza and scarlet waiting for me to come home and being rude out of his mind. Huh? Really? You already spoke to him? Well, that makes things easier. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hope you're back. Alright. 
At least in like Borderlands, this isn't long. Yes, I have to go back and forth, and it's boring, but I don't have to go back and forth for 30 minutes. It's like 30 seconds. Hey. Who do you think you're fucking racing, Bucko? I always want to press it as late as possible, but the game always ends up doing it for me. Alright, mate. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly. That's terrible. In that case, take a th that this as quick as you can. These are mushroom spores. They'll heal the bird's injury. But wait, you're carrying too much. Make some space in your pouch, then come and talk to me. To the bazaar? Oh. I fucked up. Jesus Christ, Joey. Insect killer. Murderer! I'm sorry! Hi. Hello. Welcome to the check. Oh, to you again. You've become a lot recently. Pretty much the only, only one who comes by regularly, actually. Hey, wait a second. I don't suppose you don't come by just to see me, do you? Yes, it's true. Hi. What? Really? Yeah, right, you think I'm gonna fall for that old line. But if it were true, that might be kinda nice. Oh, I almost forgot, I still have a job to do. Do you have something for me to hold on to? Yes, please. Uh... Alright, let's see it. I think she's cute. Why not? Put that in there for me. Okay, thank you. Come again. Nice. Have I got what I need to upgrade things? Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade to good, make it even stronger. And if you sure it takes a bit, no worries, I can fix that too. So what'll it be? Upgrade, please. <laughs> Just grab it for that one. All things I don't have for that one. Just need the monster claw for that one. So it doubles the effectiveness in one item. This one I can do. But I don't need to, because I'm going to get better shields. Sorry, mate. Hold on, now you changed your mind. Well, then all the... Eh, it's fine. Come see whenever you change it back, little buddy. I just don't have the resources. I'm sorry. I don't have the facilities for that, big man. Okay, I'm going to go... Get some medicine. Hoo-yah! Okay. Back again. I'll have fucking butterflies for days. Can't move for butterflies. You can come into my net, or you can perish. It's your choice. I need a big net as soon as possible. Great, you made room in your pouch. Well then, take these. They're mushroom spores. They're who the bird's injury. You got some mushroom spores. These spores from a giant mushroom are said to work wonders on injured birds. If she uses this, it'll quickly heal the bird. She should then be able to make her own way home. Take it to my sister. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had a chance to use the stuff inside. I can, know you, Joey? Thank you. Bottle get. Do 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 do. Another fairy for me. Don't just do a sweet dive. It's tempting, but don't do it. This way I should have gone straight away. I don't know what I was thinking. These booster rings do give you a massive speed boost, so... It's well worth doing. Look how fast you go. Land it. You alright, mate? Wow. Oh, mushroom spores. What a relief. You bought the medicine. Here, take it. <laughs> Thank you. Now I can heal my bird's injury. You're welcome. Mm. Now my poor bird should be healthy again in no time. <laughs> I was beginning to think we were doomed. You've saved my life and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. I mean, what of the knights would have come around and done it eventually? You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. They must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. How people feel is good. Hey. Mm. Here we go. See you back in town. Bye bye. <laughs> I 
still don't think the island is uh, ready for me to do anything with yet. It's still way faster. Look how long it took for me to get back to default speed. <laughs> Just an absolute drive by. There you go, mate. Joey, my sister made it home safely, thank goodness. I was so worried about her. Thanks so much for your help, Joey. You got five gratitude crystals. This crystal's feeling gratitude in crystallized form. Must take a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Hope people feels good. No problem at all, mate. Happy to do it. I'm not double dipping for gratitude. Let's see the stag beetles. I'm gonna go get them. You never know when you might need them. And they're pretty hard to get, so. It's better to get them now while I'm thinking about it. Anyway, anyone else in town? Need some help? Not that I can see, but I'll come back later. Right. Okay, so, I'll see you guys next time when we go back to the volcano and actually do what we're supposed to be doing. You know. Um, see you guys then. Goodbye.